Mtazamaji mbunge wa Kiaru Ndindi Nyoro pamoja na mbunge wa Hembakasi East Babu Owino ni baadhi ya wabunge ambao hawakujitokeza kuweza kumwembichi naibu wa Rais Rigathi Kashagwa. In fact, hawakuwa parliament wakati wabunge jana walikuwa wanamwembichi naibu wa Rais Rigathi Kashagwa na uh, kufikia sasa maswali yamekuwa mengi katika mitandao ya kijamii. Ni nini sababu ya Babu Owino pamoja na Ndindi Nyoro? Uto jitokeza kuweza kumumbichi naibu wa Rais Rigathi Kashagwa. Mataka ni kueleze kwa undani zaidi ni kwa nini uh, Ndindi Nyoro moja kati ya marafiki wa karibu sana na William Samoy Ruto alikosa kuweza kumumbichi naibu wa Rais Rigathi Kashagwa pamoja na mbunge wa Embakasi East ambaye pia ni mbunge wa HODM na tuliona wabunge wa HODM di walikuwa mstari wa mbele kuweza kumumbichi naibu wa Rais Rigathi Kashagwa. Kwanza tazama hii video hupi uh, lafu di kueleze zaidi. And I'm telling you Mr. Speaker actions speak louder than words. The deputy president may have said that he is a shareholder and there are issues about his community, but if you look at the appointments that are being made in Kenya, then you will realize that the person of the president himself is the one who is the biggest trouble, Mr. Speaker, because he's appointing people from his own community for every provision. Mr. Speaker, if we have to find a situation where our school has failed, you do not fire the deputy principal. You get rid of the principal. Our problem is not the deputy. It is the head. Yes, Father. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Father. Tatizo haikuwa ni naibu wa Rais Rigathi Gashagwa. Tatizo la Wakenya ilikuwa ni William Samoi Arap Ruto. Na Ndidi Joro na Kimani Ichungwa ni viongozi ambao ni youth ambao wanatarajia pengine hapo mbeleni watakuja kuwa rais ama watakuja kuchaguliwa uh, ama kupewa nafasi kubwa na Wakenya. So ukiangalia uh, Wakenya wengi kupitia mitandao yote yote ya kijamii in fact hata ukiangalia hata nimeona hata MCA Tricky alifanya opinion poll katika mtandao wake wa Facebook na opinion poll ikapata watu zaidi ya el, laki moja wakaweza kuzungumza pale na ukiangalia asilimia kubwa wanasema kwamba hawakuona sababu ya Rigathi Gashagwa kuweza kuondolewa so ukiangalia mudi ya Wakenya Wakenya hawakupendezwa na vile Rigathi Gashagwa alikuwa imbichi na wabunge na Mtu kama ndindi nyoro kujiondoa kwa hiyo shida alijisaidia sana kwa sababu mtazamaji wangu upande wa mlima Kenya wabunge ambao walipitisha kwamba Rigathi Gashagwa haenda nyumbani hawatakuwa na amani upande wa mlima Kenya na kuna uwezekano kwamba wataenda nyumbani 2027. Kumbuka vizuri uh, 2022 mtazamaji wangu kuna wabunge wengi sana uh, nimekuwa nikikwambia kwamba walikuwa wazuri sana. Wabunge wengi sana ambao walikuwa wazuri kina Ngujiri, kina Jeremia Kioni, wengi ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi vizuri lakini walianguka kwa sababu walikuwa karibu na William na Uhuru Kenyatta. Na watu wa Mlima Kenya walikuwa against Uhuru Kenyatta. So 2027 watu wengi watakuwa against William Samoe Ruto. So watu wa Mlima Kenya wengi ambao walipiga kura kashagwa haenda nyumbani 2027 kuna uwezekano kwamba wataenda nyumbani. So ndindi nyoro akiwa ni moja kati ya watu ambao wa Kenya wamekuwa wakimpendekeza hata kuja kuwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya akaamua kwamba hata jitokeza kuweza kumpiga mwenzake Rigathi Gashagwa kwa sababu hiyo uh, inaweza ikatumika hapo mbele kuweza kumwaribia jina akaamua kutohudhuria upande mwingine uh, Babu Owino pia mbunge wa Embakasi East yeye uh, alizungumza katika mtandao wake wa kijamii wa Facebook na akasema kwamba sababu ambayo ilimfanya aziweze uh, kutokea uh, ni kwa sababu hakuona jambo la maana ambalo lilikuwa linakuja kusungumziwa pale. Kuangalia tu kidogo kwa uh, karibu ama kwa haraka vile Babu Owino amezungumza. Alisema kwamba how can I waste my whole day discussing about Rigathi Kashagwa yet we have a serious issues like andani new university funding model a shift high cost of living high taxation unemployment among others you will see me in parliament when those issues are presented but they will not bring them i was ill and can't with other important and urgent matters affecting my constituency uh, the speed which uh, with which Rigathi was in beach should be the same speed used to solve Uh, Kenyans challenges. <coughs> Huyo ni mbunge wa Embakasi East ambaye anasema kwamba hangearibu muda wake akienda parliament uh, kuweza kusikiza impeachment yake Rigathi Gashagwa wakati kuna important issues kama Hantani nitaka kupeana for the next 30 years na Kenya kuna new university funding model iko na shida ship iko na shida high cost of living uh, high taxation unemployment na mambo mengine mengi.
Alafu anasema kwamba wabunge hawawezi wakatebu motion ya kuzungumzia uh, ama hawawezi wakaleta uh, waka discuss mambo kama high cost of living waka discuss mambo kama andani lakini ikizipishika ni kuimbiche mtu kama Rigathi Kashagwa wanakimbilia wote bila hata sababu ya msingi ya kuweza kumwimbichi Rigathi Kashagwa. Kumbuka kwamba babu Owino anataka kuwa governor Nairobi mwaka wa 2027. Kumbuka kwamba Nairobi uh, asilimia kubwa ni watu wa kutoka upande wa Mlima Kenya. Kumbuka kwamba Governor Johnson Sakaja alipitisha ama alipita kwa sababu ya uh, alipita kwa sababu ya watu wa Mlima Kenya ndio walimpitisha. Ndio wengi zaidi ambao walimpitisha Governor Johnson Sakaja. Kwa sababu hawakuwa wanataka egadhe kwa sababu walikuwa wameaminishwa kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta ni mbaya na walikuwa wana fought against mtu yote ambaye yuko karibu na Uhuru Kenyatta. So 2027 Babu Owino anajua kwamba yuko na uwezo wa kuweza kumshinda Seneta Sakaja lakini akijipanga vizuri. Akijipanga vizuri mtazamaji wangu. Kumbuka kwamba juzi tu Babu Owino alikuwa ameandika katika mtandao wake wa Facebook na kusema kwamba yeye uh, ameamua kutoingia ndani ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza vile viongozi wenzake wa azimio waliingia ndani ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza na akasema kwamba hey, chochote ambacho kitatokea yuko sawa ameamua kusimama na wananchi kwa sababu uh, watu wengi wakati Raila Odinga alijiunga na serikali ya Kenya kwanza wali, 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 waliona kama Raila Odinga amewasaliti <coughs> watu walikuwa na hasira sana wakisema kwamba Raila Odinga amesaliti wa Kenya Raila Odinga amesaliti JNC Raila Odinga amesaliti uh, watu ambao wamekuwa kimunga mkono supporters wake kuna watu hata walisema kutoka kutoka 05 wamekuwa kimsupport Raila Odinga lakini vile alijiunga na William Ruto wakasema kwamba sasa uh, imekuwa too much na hata wao msupport Raila Odinga tena. So babu Owino anapima kuangalia hapo mbele mfile mambo yatakavyokuwa. Watu wengi sasa hivi wanasema kwamba Kashagwa hangeenda nyumbani na kama angeenda nyumbani angeenda na William Ruto. Na kusema kwamba Rigathiga wao wabunge ambao wamemwimbichi Rigathiga Kashagwa sana sana wale wa Mlima Kenya utawaona tu vile watapitia matatizo 2027 kwa sababu wa Kenya hawata wahurumia. So babu wino na Ndindi Nyoro ni viongozi ambao tunaweza sema kama uh, ni future leaders wa youth na ni viongozi ambao wanaona mbele. Wanaona mbele sana kwa sababu hii mambo ambayo inaendelea uh, iliendelea jana upande wa parliament ni mambo ambayo hakuna mtu amefurahia hapa nchini Kenya. Hakuna mtu hata mmoja amefurahia. So uh, mtazamaji wangu babu Howino na Ndindi Nyoro huenda ikawa wanajipanga uh, kwa sababu Ndindi Nyoro sasa hivi vile amekosana uh, ameyekosa ame kutokea kumwimbichi Kashagwa ameanza ku, ataanza sasa kukosana na William Samoei Ruto. Ataanza kukosana na William Samoei Ruto. Kumbuka Ndindi Nyoro amekuwa rafiki wa karibu sana na William Ruto lakini sasa hivi utaanza kuona tofauti kati ya Ndindi Nyoro na William Ruto. Na vile Ndindi Nyoro akianza tu kuwa kando na William Samoei Ruto I can assure you Ndindi Nyoro hata anaweza kuwa governor wa kaunti ya Kiambu, anaweza kuwa governor wa Muranga, anaweza kuwa governor wa Kirinyaga, anaweza kuwa governor wa Malipo Pote upande wa Mlima Kenya. Iwapo atakubali kukaa kando na William Ruto kwa sababu 2027 watu wote ambao watakuwa karibu na William Samoei Ruto watakuwa mstari wa mbele kwenda nyumbani. Asubuhi na mapema watakuwa wameenda nyumbani. Sijui kama tunaelewana mtazamaji wangu. Anyway, hebu niachie maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section. Uh, pia uniambie pengine mimi ndiyo sijui. Niambie wewe unadhani kwamba ni sababu gani ambayo imemfanya ndini nyoro akakosa kuhudhuria uh, impeachment yake Rigathi Kashagwa pamoja na babu Ohwino. Tukutane tena kwa video nyingine hapa hapa Jitan uh, Daily Politics usiende mbali nitarejea hivi punde tu na mengi zaidi. Kwa sasa, bye bye.